Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yasin, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Android Setups Tutorial. Today we are doing this beautiful setup right here that I like to call But First Coffee. And this was the setup that won in the Best Android Setup series. It is actually from episode five. We do have episode six airing out right now, which I will link down below in the description. Make sure you guys go check out that video, vote for your favorite setup, and then that way I can use that setup in the next tutorial episode. Okay, so in order to duplicate this setup, we are going to need that wallpaper and we are going to need a Nova Launcher. We are going to need KWGT and we are also going to need the rainbow plugin for KWGT and the Line X white icon pack. I'll have a link for all those things down below in the description. So let's start things by setting up the wallpaper. And what I like to do is go into the actual photos app and set it up from there rather than long pressing on the home screen because sometimes that doesn't really center the picture. So this is the picture that we are using. And what I wanna do is click on the three little dots at the top, say use as, and then click home and lock screen. And then it centers everything. So once you click set, and you go back home, then that is the home screen that we're using. So the setup is very simple. You only have the one widget at the top and then you have the icons on the bottom. So next thing we're gonna do is change the icons to the line X white icon. So what you wanna do is go into Nova Launcher settings. So just start searching for Nova and then you will get Nova settings. And then you wanna go into the look and feel right there. Then you wanna go into icon styles, and then you wanna select the icon once you have downloaded it. And it's going to be the lines X white. Now there's different versions, but this is the one that's used in this setup. And then once you select it, you could just go back home and all the icons have changed to that. And there's a row of icons on here. So you can just pick the icons that you like to use to put on the home screen. For instance, the calling, you just wanna drag that to the front. If you wanna use messages, so messages, and then you wanna grab whichever messaging app that you use, and you're gonna just continue until you fill out all the apps that you use on the day-to-day -day basis. So these are the apps that I decided to put on my home screen because these are the ones that I use most often every single day. But if you have a few more and you wanna put it on your home screen without cluttering your home screen, then Nova Launcher actually has this little trick where if you swipe up on a app icon, then it's going to open a separate app than the one that is the actually on the home screen. Let me show you what I mean by that. So right here, if I click on this, that's Google Chrome, it's going to open Google Chrome. If I press and hold on it, go into the pencil and go into the section that says swipe action and scroll over right here to apps, then I can actually select a different app to use, for instance, Instagram, and I can click done. So by clicking on it, it'll go into the Google Chrome, but by swiping up on it, then it's going to open up Instagram. So you can essentially have seven icons here and then another seven hidden under them so that you have more icons on your home screen without actually having physical home screen icons. So now next up, we are going to create the widget and we could do that by pressing and holding on the home screen, going into the widget and finding KWGT widget. And you wanna press and hold on KWGT, put it where you want it, and then you wanna press and hold again and say resize and resize it to the size that you want and then move it to the area that you want. This is what I usually do right off the bat and then that way it's easier for me to mess around with the plugins once I have it to the area that I want. So we wanna click on it and then it's going to load up all the plugins and for this setup we are using the rainbow plugin. So you wanna go into the rainbow plugin and it is plugin number 18. So we just look for it and we found plugin number 18. So right off the bat, it shows up there and you could see it's cut off from the bottom and it just looks off. I like to save it, go home and just let it refresh here, go back into it and now is when I make the changes. So first let's deal with the sizing. You wanna go into the item group right here and then you wanna go into layer and you wanna make this smaller. And I think that's pretty good because even though it's cut off, we can still move it up. So now you wanna go into position and you want to change the Y axis by moving it up. 
So you can play around with this by moving it a little bit or by moving it a lot just to get the way you want it. And then now I want to go back to layers and actually make it a little bit bigger, maybe 80, and then go back to position and move it back up a little bit. And this honestly just depends on how big you want it and how nice you want it to fill up the screen. So personally, I think this looks good. I like it just like that. If I click save and I go home, then it's going to look perfect. But we need to change the color scheme. So in order to change color scheme, we want to go into the group and we want to start with the letters. So let's go into the first section and the today and we go to paint and we try to change the color and there's only two options here. So that means this plugin requires you to change the color of the global color first before you can come in here and select the color. So in order to do that, you wanna swipe up, swipe up, uh, just basically I'm going backwards, and you wanna keep going back until you get to the global area, and then you wanna say add by clicking this little plus sign, and you wanna say color, and we are going to say black since the text right here is black and we're gonna say okay, it's gonna add black. You wanna still click in this little area and select black, select black, so that now is black. But we also do have red, so we wanna add that right now since we're already here. So I'm gonna name the next color red, click okay, and then click in here and find the red right there, click on it, and now it's red. So if we scroll back right here, go to items, go into here, we can go into the first stack, go to the date, I mean where it says today is Sunday, click on paint, click here, and now we have more options. So we're going to make that black, and then we're going to go back, and then the September is also going to be black. If we go into the paint, we're going to make that black, and then... That is the only thing that is black here. If I click save, go home, then that's what it looks like. So now let's go back in there because we wanna make the black font of the actual time black. So we wanna go back into the items. We wanna go down to the bottom stack. And now we wanna go into the circle for the 12. Click on the 12, go to paint, and we're gonna turn that black. So now that's black writing. And then we want to go into the shape circle and turn that red. So I'm just going to go real quick through this and change all the colors. So right now we changed all the colors of the circles right here, but we still need to change the little icon right up there. So we're going to swipe up, swipe back up, go to that top stack and find the actual icon, which is the font icon. Click on it. The first thing we want to do is change the color to red because it is red in the setup. And then right after that, we wanna actually change the actual icon. So when you go to change the icon, you wanna go into this bottom setting right here, go to icons, and then you can just search for the icon if you know the name of it in here, or if you don't, then you can just search through it. I know that specific icon is called the Venus, so I'm just gonna search for Venus, and it is this one. So I click on it, that is the icon, and then once I click save, go home, that's the setup right there. So you have your icon pack right here, which shows all up in your app drawer. You have the wallpaper, and then you have the widget, which is from the Rainbow plugin. It is widget number 18 for KWGT. So that's everything for this setup, just that icon pack in the one widget from the Rainbow plugin for KWGT. Like I said before, everything will be linked down below in the description, including the wallpaper that you saw at the beginning and also the wallpaper of the coffee cup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. And if you guys want to see more setups, then definitely check out the best Android setups, which will be linked down below in the description. Make sure you vote for your favorite setup, and that's the one that I'm going to be doing a tutorial on in the next episode thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one until then stay plugged